Hello, hello. Greetings, greetings. Egg with 5,000 subs. Hello. Mute that so we don't hear ourselves. Mute our echo. own voices. You can tell it's working though, because I can hear it on here, so that's a good thing. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hunter, well done. Jason, the other channel of the Weirdo Show, Mike5481. Oh, the chat's moving fast. I can't even read it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tell how many people are out here. Well, we haven't done it yet. We, we are going to do it live here to figure out who won. So Yeah, we're going to wait uh, a little while. We're going to hang out with you guys and do the giveaway in a while, but <laughs> yeah, news can be kind of depressing sometimes, uh, at least recently. Yeah, we all need a break from it. Need a little bit of uh, entertainment time, a little time to talk about other things than Jesse all the pressing we'll issues. Hey, Bob Lewis, how's it going? Um, King Arthur Baseball, not, I mean, not doing too much over here, doing some yard work been working out on my own um i should be i do track in the spring so i should be pole vaulting right now but that's all canceled for the year so thanks lethal ray hey thrice Roni. yeah if you submitted last night you should be um you should be good so hey ashlyn uh, let's see who else is on here. Daniel. All kinds of folks. 106 people watching already. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, That's like pretty crazy. Minutes. Yeah, we had, man, overwhelming response to this giveaway, which yeah, was pretty like, cool. Close to like a thousand comments, which is crazy. Like all of our other giveaways we've had, we've done, I don't know, like a, maybe you get two, sometimes 300 comments. And that's about it. But way bigger response to this one for sure. So. Is this the right thing? Uh, oh, no, these are all basketball cards. Yeah, I don't know. It's yeah. a different one. Thanks, JV. What's up, CJ? Yeah, I know, Cameron, it does. Um, you can't really do anything about it. It's out of everybody's control, but... There's the right thing. Someone just asked what the prizes are, so we got the prizes here. All right, so we're gonna we're not gonna do the giveaway quite yet. We gotta hold you guys in suspense for a little bit. But we're gonna show you the prize. There's one prize, but you have a choice between baseball or basketball. So we kept it safe. All these packs in our little plastic t or tote here. If I don't drop the cards. What's up, Striker Cards? How's it going? Now, let's see. Can you do half and half? That's actually a good question, but no. <laughs> no, sorry. But that is a good question. Good question. Yep. We're, worth asking. So, we'll put the stuff out here. Yeah, we had a really uh, great response from all. Uh, everybody that entered, so thanks so much. We had, what, 900 and some entries? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Hey there, Jake Great and Lakes. Matt with gone? Great Lakes. Um, we have uh, had yeah, a lot of fun watching the videos that you guys posted. Uh, so a lot of people posted videos, so thanks so much for putting the effort into doing that. It's fun to see all the different types of videos people put out there some were um you know funny cards some were uh, best cards in people's pcs most valuable cards in people's uh collection and it just i mean just all kinds of stuff some so really creative ones too we had one guy who commented his um top 10 moments from his personal amateur like amateur pro golfing career which is pretty crazy and just some other stuff like that yeah. like some cool different things too so yeah some creative ones top 10 not an olympic sport top 10 things that aren't an olympic sport um some other stuff like that no we do not have super chat um well we don't have it set up we could set oh, it well, up right but, yeah, that's yeah. What they're asking yes. yeah no we do not um have it set up right now um 
Let's see, the chat's going kind of fast. Kind of hard to keep up with. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, we had one guy, uh, or one father, son, Dustin and Blake, they entered with a video of top 10 Minnesota baseball players. That was pretty cool. Um, and uh, so, yeah, a lot, a lot of good stuff out there. Um, and appreciate everybody's comments, too. A lot of fun comments to read. So it wasn't just the videos, yeah, but we, sure. we tried to read a lot of the comments but yeah we got through quite a few of them i mean it's kind of overwhelming how many comments there were um yeah it's too late to enter now posted on march 31 that would count um top 10 cards yeah um the sage collector if you guys haven't checked him out but he made a cool video about um top 10 funniest uh looking basketball yeah. cards that was yeah. pretty cool to watch so thanks bob hey thanks bob yeah it yeah, ten thousand is crazy. We never thought we'd get a uh, thousand, let alone ten. Yeah, it's crazy. So we're ha we're having a lot of fun doing it, and I mean the the subscriber numbers are, you know, just a bonus to that, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, so we'll we'll try to keep up doing the, uh, you know, doing these videos. So uh, Bob said, "Who did the funny basketball cards?" His YouTube channel. I'll put it in the chat. The chat's moving kind of fast, but I'll type his channel in here. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, that was pretty funny. The the facial expressions on some of the cards. Oh, I got to get that card. We just found a really funny baseball one we here did. today. Yeah, I got to go one. grab that if it's still out there. That one's funny. Hey, thank you, James. We've been doing YouTube. What is this? Our third year? Second? Third? No, third. 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 Three years. Three years. Well, going out three, yeah. Yeah, well, well so 2000 after the 2017 national. Yep, we started. We making started videos. making videos that September. Um, so we started, I think, the very end of August, beginning of September 2017. So yeah, we're going on three. Yeah, so yep. we'll, we're at two and X amount of months. Yeah, so. almost yeah, six close, months or close, whatever, two and a half. Close to three. So, so. this is, speaking of funny baseball cards, look at this right here. Now, Oof. now this is not a, uh, uh, you know, one that somebody photoshopped. This is a real Panini baseball card, Chris Perez. I don't know if I ever seen a card quite like it. It's impressive. I mean, look at that. it. Is this guy a rock star that wanted to be a baseball player, or was he a baseball player? I don't know. Anyways, so cards like that, the fun of going through all your old stuff when you're quarantined inside your house, you <laughs> know, finding, like finding all kinds of interesting things. I mean, we found over the last week we found all kinds of incredible stuff so yeah we found some crazy stuff i bet just been digging through and you too i spent a lot of time on it just digging through boxes of old cards just pulling stuff out that we never really sorted through and found i found well i don't even know like nine sotos and nine gliber card uh true rookies from update um found gliber chrome austin meadows all kinds of stuff so some really cool stuff by the way speaking of rookies we should be coming out um with an announcement on our channel tomorrow about the rookie chase packs, we have them done, so we just have to um, upload it to YouTube. So be looking out for those if you're interested in them. Um, they, the past couple times they've gone pretty quickly, so it's first come first serve. Not doing like pre-orders or anything crazy for them. No, yeah, it'll be first come first serve. We'll post a video in the next couple days, and they're gonna run or about forty bucks a pack. And some pretty good things in there. This is another one of our favorite fun cards we pulled out of a Walgreens um, pack. And just love his name. Look at his name. Wes Swackhammer. Swackhammer. I mean, this is like the best baseball name. Um, and so he's one of our favorite guys to set in the background once in a while. I think we're going to add Chris Perez to our background. I think so too. He's definitely worthy. Um, yeah. Erwin, tell your grandson Liam hello for us. Um, nice to have this with all its money. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for watching. It gives us a break too from everything. So. Yeah, we we definitely um, got to do something else than watch the news and 
you know, try to stay out of harm's way. One of the ways we can do that is by being in our card room doing a live feed. So, uh, and we're glad you guys are here. Hopefully, everybody's doing well. Hopefully, you're, um, you know, able to keep up with, uh, you know, the, the duties of life and yet at the same time stay out of harm's way of this virus. I know it's very serious and, you know, definitely take into consideration all your local, uh, state, and federal government guidelines. Very important. Um, I know it's hard to, follow all of them all the time but hey glad that you're here tonight doing a little live feed with us and we will do the giveaway shortly we got more people <laughs> coming in and we love uh chatting with y'all so make your comments and chat and uh help each other out i think you got hit the live chat thing but that, it actually doesn't do um that much i'll let me get to it there we go um, let's see. I saw a couple of in uh if the winner wants can you rip it now and ship it after? <laughs> I mean, uh we uh, we could, but I think half the fun for the winner would be opening it I themselves. Mean, if they really but, want us to yeah. do that. I mean, we'll do it, but we have some other stuff we could rip afterwards that it may not be the most entertaining, but it'd be fun to hang out with you guys. So, hey, stay safe, stay safe, Striker. Thanks for tuning in, real quick. Um, are you guys six feet apart? No, we're not six feet apart. No. We are in the same house, so no reason to stay six feet apart. Yep, we live in the same household, so more Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> more Napoleon Dynamite. Oh man, we got the Napoleon Dynamite cards if you like them. Um, Maybe we can even throw one into we'll we'll throw one into each stack of the giveaway um, for the winner if, yeah, they, if me, they so choose. Let me find the pack here. All right, so just in right. case you're interested, vote for, um, Pedro. vote for Pedro. Flipping sweet trading cards. Actually, I'm gonna open up a pack right now, just kind of a warm up. For we'll the, do the giveaway. giveaway right after this, this is just the prequel. Yeah, People maybe. Are getting anxious. Yeah, so we'll I know. I know. Well, right. they got to be hell. Oh man, look at look at uh, Napoleon. It's after he starts dancing. He starts guzzling Gatorade. some Gatorade. Napoleon. Oh, there we go. Uh, Pegasus. Um, and then of course we have Napoleon on the back. I don't know if he's on the back of all these cards. Yeah, he yeah, is. He is. He's playing his tether ball by himself. And Puerto Rico the one over. UFO abduction insurance. Don't leave Earth without it. Man, maybe I should get some of this. Honestly. Um, <laughs> what your best move is? Oh, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, picking on his uh, brother. Sweet. Can we do a ride into town? Moolah. And then there's Pedro. Um uh, so yeah, here's Napoleon on his bike doing a nice um, jump, and he breaks the jump. And then of course we have yeah, Tina, their um, Tina llama, the fat lard. Tina the fat lard llama. <laughs> so if you win, you can have your choice if you like a pack of Napoleon Dynamite cards on top them, of it. No worries, no yeah, worries. if you if you've never seen Napoleon Dynamite or if you hate Napoleon Dynamite, my apologies, uh, but it's a funny movie. <laughs> I'm chatting online with babes all day. I'm gonna have to go watch this movie later. Yeah, what? Well, uh, I've seen it so many times. What? What's his Lafonda? Right, his girlfriend's name is Lafonda. Yeah, La um, his brother. What's What's his brother's name? Napoleon's brother's name. Chip. Chip. Right. All right. Well. Yeah, Nacho Libre. We actually watched that one a little while ago. Yeah, we did. That was pretty funny. Yep. Nacho Kip. Libre. Yeah, Kip, not Chip. No. Yeah, Kip. Yeah, Luke, you're close, I'm but close. not quite. I watched it in a while. I should we yeah honestly like send the Chris Perez and Wes Swackhammer to PSA get them slabbed we should we that's a good <laughs> idea but if we do it right now if we'll we send him right now I have two I have two things I'm concerned about one is we'll never see it again because PSA somebody there might have sticky fingers for this card I mean it's worth probably more than anything they've ever had and secondly is we wouldn't get it back for like four years yeah. So that would be kind of bad. at the bad. same time, yeah. Anyway. All right, it's giveaway time. All right, guys. So how we're going to do this is we are going to have to move the cards out of the background because 
we are shooting this on our phone so we have to bring in the old laptop screen to do the actual giveaway um, before we start just want to say a few few words of thanks to some of the people that were influential in helping us in the very beginning um, so if you start a YouTube channel you know that uh, there's you know people that inspire you help you uh, encourage you along the way and so a few people that you may not know uh, you know helped us along the way so first uh, Adam Ha I think Adam Ha was one of the first people he to was comment the first on our uh, yeah maybe our very first subscriber and one of the first to comment on our videos and encourage us to keep going um, woohoo woohoo mm -hmm. sports cards was a constant encouragement to us um, we have guys that started the same time as us like JT pack breaks JT's pack breaks uh, great guy still making videos great content and uh, we've just developed good friendship with him so thanks to to JT another guy that's not on uh, quite as often I don't think he's been on for a while but Obi-Wan Sonobi out of Hawaii made a, a lot of videos early on and was a supporter of us so these are guys maybe that you know don't have a huge following but man they sure helped us out a lot and you know we hope to do the same we hope to help other people and encourage other people getting started um, you know we started our channel sitting in our, our basement wondering um, if anybody would watch one video let alone more than one and if we would ever have more than 100 subscribers so that's kind of our story and you know there's been a lot of other guys we had people like mike o uh, who saw our videos you know after we've been making them for four or five months and and uh promoted our channel by just mentioning us and some shout outs i mean that was huge um and there, there's a, so many others too uh, we we were able to be on beyond cardboard with baseball collector that was really cool um, and just a whole bunch of you all in the chat here uh, I, without each one of you as subscribers and supporters we wouldn't be here so thanks so much we greatly appreciate it humbled by all uh, your help and all your subscriptions so we want to do this giveaway just a token of our appreciation so let's get to it all right just reading some of the comments there thanks everybody for your support again Ashleen. Uh, thank you for your little boy's support. That's awesome. I'm just gonna try to get this in front. I'm trying to uh, kind of manage. Yeah, hey, I'll this. hold the camera and you get the. All right. So I already put the link in here. Um, I just copied it from our video right here into the random comment picker. Um, as you can see, I might want to hold it a little bit closer so people can read it a little bit better. There you go. Um, so we're going to filter duplicate users. So we're going to get YouTube comments. This video has comments disabled. Hmm, I might put the wrong link in. I probably put this link. That's our issue. <laughs> I put the link to the video that we're on right now instead of um, the other video. So we'll go over here to 10K subs. And copy and paste this link. Alright. We can't get any comments from this video. What? That was the proper link. Um, hmm. Try it again. Let's just I'm gonna just gonna close this and then research it. You want to move that camera real quick so yep. I can just get my hands under. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Never had any issues with this before. Filter duplicate users. Man, it still has the same thing. Has um, comments disabled. Are you sure you got... Um this one, 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Huge thank you to all of our subscribers. Enter our giveaway. This is the right video, correct? Yeah, but it doesn't have any comments. What? Go to the little icon next to it. Yes. Um, uh, the Here, I'll hold you. Do. All right, well, we'll mm, take it off, off the screen. Sorry, guys. We didn't expect.
little snafu like this. Yeah, normally this thing always works. You just plug in the link and you're good to go. Um, so sorry about that. We'll figure that out shortly. Not really sure why. Um, I'll try to use the force on it. We're going to fix it. At least try to. I guess the comments somehow got to say. I don't know how the heck that happened. But. Yeah, it says right there, 981 comments. Um, yeah, we will return to our regular technical difficulties. Okay, let's try this one. Um, we actually, we didn't um, buy this. We had Upper Deck, or not Upper Deck, Ultra Pro, sorry. Ultra Pro, actually, huge shout out to them, actually made these for us. So they gave us a couple of these, which is super nice of them, really cool. Um, so that's how I ended up getting those. Someone said they had the same problem. Does anybody else have... Is there a... I saw someone... Because we... Our comments are not disabled on it. I saw someone just say that they had the same issue. They used a different random comment picker. If you have another one that works well... Um, that you guys know of... Let us know. Alright, thank you, Thunder Fan Cards. Uh, we're working on it. Um, all right. Well, now we're going to do something. We're, we're going to show the cards. I saw someone uh, say show the cards in the background. So we're going to do that real quick. First off, we have this thing, the Indian pangolin. Um, apparently, this is the animal that they at least think from a wet market in China may have started the coronavirus, which we pulled out of a Goodwin Champions box, not knowing that, and someone commented that, which is kind of interesting. Uh, 85 Dunners, Kirby Puckett, rookie, PSA 9. Acuna Chrome, PSA 10, from 18, rookie. A Wander, PSA 10. Put that back there. 18 update. This one's actually gone up a lot since we picked it up. Yeah, unfortunately, it is too late. That's kind of what... I don't know. I don't think it's our video. I'm um, not entirely sure. Mookie bets. We're going to try to figure this out, though, because this is kind of a pain. We didn't actually test it beforehand, which is kind of a dumb thing looking back. I just figured, oh, it's going to work because it's worked every other time, but apparently not. Um... I guess that's not how that's gonna work, so. Go to like settings, that's not gonna really do anything. But. I'm just seeing it now, it has it, yeah, so. Um. Details. I bet you'll get one PSA 10. The, the um, base series tops seem to be a little bit easier grade than other cards. So, Yeah, we're working on the giveaway. We're trying to get it. We're having technical difficulties right now. Um, we're trying to get the giveaway thing to work. I agree. YouTube conspiracy. Yeah, it says that our comments are all there. Did someone just say it works for your... your? Okay, I'm going to go real quick. Um, maybe just try different... I don't know, I'm gonna, we'll try something else. Yeah, I tried a different picker. Didn't work. Um, I'll need to take care of the live stream for a moment. I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to grab my laptop real quick and try it on there. See if that does anything. I don't really know if it will. I'll be right back. All right, sorry guys about the delay. Uh, we're trying to work on it, having technical difficulties. Let's look at some packs you could possibly win. This is 2000 
and nine signature series chance at a Derek Jeter series two from last year and our camera seems to kind of be fuzzy let's try to get it looking here all right and one of the highlights of the baseball package is going to be the update 2018 we got Bowman Chrome is part of that giveaway package. And two of these series one hobby baseball. A 2019 update. 2019 gallery. 2018 pro oops, pro debut. And 2019 Tops Update Chrome. And then 2020 Jumbo Pack of Series 1. And we also have in that video, or video, sorry, in the giveaway, uh, this hanger pack from 2019 Series 2. And then we have all these little blister packs. 2018 Series 1. Series 2 from last year. And each one of these has purple packs in it. And then 2020. So those are all the baseball ones. Um, let's see what we have for basketball. We're still trying to work out the technical difficulties, guys. Uh, so if you just tuned in or are waiting, uh, we are working on it. Luke is on his computer now. and I think I got something that worked. We're trying to fill in the gap here. So. Ooh, I do. All right, we got somewhere. All right, so Luke's got... I found a new website that works. So. Luke's got something up his sleeve. And it seems to work. So Does it have... Added out the duplicates? It does. Dupli it, adds okay. up. It, doesn't, it does it automatically, so... All right. We're going to use this site for this... Um, does anybody want to see the basketball ones, by the way, before we do yeah, the giveaway? Do it. Let's go. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Let's do the giveaway. We can show the basketball ones afterwards if anybody's interested. Um, all right. Let's. No, people want to see the basketball. You don't oh. wait. You have to Whoa. wait. There's like a. There's a delay. Yeah, Sorry, delay. guys. All right. Hold on. I'll show them off real quick. So. Two of the little bigger highlights, we've got 1819 Optic Basketball um, retail packs, which are pretty cool. Um, I think we might actually have, do we only have two? Yeah, we do only have two. Um, Optic. And then you get three 1819 Generous Basketball. Um, so chances at Luca and Shrey in there. And then we got a 1819 Chronicles hanger pack. Um, we got two Dunruss packs here, 15-16 Dunruss basketball. Um, I'm not exactly sure what rookies you're chasing out here. I know Devin Booker's in here. I don't know a ton of other people about this and what didn't really collect basketball and this stuff was around. So um, Then we have a pack of 18-19 hoops. Once again, Luca, Trey, everybody else from that great rookie class. 19-20 um, stuff, super hard to find. And actually, hold on, before we get to that, we do have another 1819 Chronicles pack in there. Um, and then we got a 1920 Hoops Hanger pack. These things are, like, impossible to find now in retail stores. They're just gone. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you can find basketball, let us know. We'd love to buy some. Then we've got 1819 Status Basketball Hanger Box here. You actually have an okay chance of getting a hit out of one of these. Um, there's some... Autos and Mem in here, since so a retail only product. Um, but then the probably the definitely actually the best one in here is a nineteen twenty Prism basketball hanger pack. These things are like gold; they're impossible to find. Um, you know, Zion, Ja, chances at all those guys in here. So that's the stash for basketball. So now we're gonna get to the actual giveaway. Finally, after a slight delay. All right, so let's try this again. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Yeah, I don't know what the technical issue was in the beginning, but hey, at least we still have more people here than we did a little while ago. 
All right, so, so I, I copy and pasted the link into this site, Instant YouTube Random Comment Picker. I did it once just on my own on Raffle Dash. It seemed to work well. Um, added duplicate comments. Seems legit. Um, so we will, we'll see when, uh, the winner's picked and, and it's not one of the names. Yeah, just not, kidding. Yeah. Just kidding. We, we, we will, we will make sure to, uh, check and make sure that the, the name is actually on our, um, video that we posted. So, all right. Is everybody ready? This one doesn't have much delay. So we're going to find out pretty quick. All right, so get ready, guys. Uh, good luck to everybody. Once again, thanks uh, to everybody who entered, who either made a video or made comments about their top 10 sports-related uh, or a top 10 sports-related list, so we greatly appreciate that. Without further ado, let's see who the winner is. And just before we do that, just remember, you get to pick either one of the packages, either the basketball or the baseball. And if you want, we'll even throw in a... Uh, Napoleon Dynamite Pack. Napoleon so. Dynamite Pack. So, all right, here we go. All righty. The winner is Texans, Texans 49. 49. All right, so my favorite sports teams are Raptors, Blue Jays, Maple Leafs, Kansas, Texan, Texans, Houston, uh, Roughnecks. Roughnecks, Houston College, Houston College Basketball, Toronto FC, Clemson Cause of Trevor Lawrence, the, they were the giveaway. So thanks so much um, for entering Texan Texan forty nine. Uh, email us at upnorthcollectors at gmail dot com, or you could reach out to us on Instagram, up north uh, collectors uh, with a underscore underscore between, between up in north. Yeah, between up in north. So. Uh, either way, uh, whatever's easiest for you, and then we'll make sure to get it, your address and send you out the prize. So you get to pick between either the baseball or the basketball. So congratulations. Yeah, we'll, we'll give them, what, like a week to respond, and if they don't respond in a week, then yeah. we'll just do it again. So. Yeah, so if we don't hear from them in well, a week to maybe just over a week, but uh, we will definitely do it again if nobody claims the prize yeah so once again texans 49 so move my computer out of the way I'm just kind of get back to our regular setup here where we were before we had um interesting times so yeah once again just let us know pick um which one i'm pretty sure he's not watching right now but uh, if if you are texan 49 congratulations if you're watching this later when it's archived congratulations obviously congratulations still um we are going to hang out here for a while. If you guys like to hang out, we'd love to hang out with you. Can rip some stuff. We got some yeah, stuff we got rip, some so. stuff to rip. Uh, we've got some really good deals. Now, unfortunately, we heard from one of our followers on Instagram that it sounds like perhaps. Now, this it. I don't know. I don't know for sure. This is one hundred percent certain, but it sounds like they are shutting down. Uh, Tops and Panini's cardboard manufacturing plant. Yeah, so they have a plant in Texas um, that ma makes both of their. I'm not sure what exactly it does, but an essential part to making baseball and football and basketball, soccer, whatever those companies make cards. Um, and according to Texas law, they're going to have to shut them down, I guess. So if that is accurate and true, um, then re new releases coming out somewhat soon, like Bowman, um, I saw like Mosaic Prism, and a few other things. Those things are all going to be pushed back. Because yeah, of it, so. so stay tuned for that news. If that's legit, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see. Okay, so Yankees cards, um, uh, Texan 49, Texans, yeah. Texans 49? I think so. Yeah, I was the winner. Um, and so, yeah, if you missed it, sorry. Thanks for entering. Uh, hello to everybody who's just uh, stopping in. Uh, we're going to open up a few baseball cards for fun here. Uh, if you would like to stay on the live feed, uh, we'd love to have you chat with us. Um, and we'll definitely open up a little bit of product while we have some more people on here. If you're looking for something to do, join us and hang out. Yeah, so that one uh, someone said, who was it? Let me go up. Um... 
Daniel Midkiff. Good stuff, guys. Up north on the phone and Magic School Bus on the TV. Magic School Bus is honestly an underrated cartoon. Like, that's, it's not bad. For an educational show, not bad. Yeah, I can't say I've uh, watched a whole bunch of Magic School Bus in my day, but, you know. 2020 Dunras, that's not bad. So, we will be opening up these packs so luke i give you you want me to do it you want to do it i'll open a pack yeah first. so we got these from wildwood entertainment for really cheap they were uh for eight packs um 24 bucks three dollars a pack so yeah so really cheap stuff here okay hey, thanks there mark a yeah lot of it's not bad I mean, I liked it too, um, Magic School Bus. I didn't watch a ton. When I was younger, I watched on PBS Wild Kratts and Arthur, and then Curious George and Bob the Builder were my staples. So, Yeah, when Luke was really little, I think nice he shooters. was going to be a, uh, a builder for sure. Bob the Builder was his idol. It's a nice Goose Gossage card. I don't know why this doesn't want to focus right now. Yeah, the can our phone is acting kind of funny. We're having all kinds of technical difficulties I don't tonight. Understand why yeah, we never have focusing issues with this thing, and all of a sudden it's like, yeah, we our uh, webcam busted on us and uh, just stopped working one day. So now we switched over to my oh, phone, which is a Google <laughs> Pixel, which works well, has a great camera, but the unfortunate part is is we have Mac computers, so. Don't ever do that. Don't buy. I don't. Yeah. Don't. Do not buy. If you have like our whole house, we have. Um. It's everything. It Apple. Is Apple. Besides yeah. our TVs, everything's Apple. So. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, South Park's pretty funny. That's a good show too. Wishbone. Wishbone. That show's awesome. I used to have a dog that looked like Wishbone. That was before Luke, way before Luke. Um, now we have a dog that loves to play baseball. So we're going to get video of our dog playing baseball and put it on our YouTube channel. It's pretty awesome. It's kind of funny because, uh, like, I don't play baseball anymore. We both are uh, retired little leaguers, so um, don't have, like, a lot of baseball going on, but our dog loves baseball. It's her favorite. You can get autographs of these. Um so, best one there was the Chavis rookie that I yeah. Got. These packs are actually pretty fun. I mean, these are cheap, three bucks a pack. You can hardly buy anything for that price nowadays. For three bucks, so. Um. Yeah. So we have. Uh, Want to put up a Stadium Club yeah. blaster? All right. Why not? We got a few few people left in chat, so we'll entertain you yep. talking. Only 132. And so. Talking awesome. and opening up some packs, if you don't mind. Um, but let us know how you guys are doing. Um, how do you spend your time in stay at home? St what is it called? Stay. <laughs> I don't know. Stay home orders. Stay home quarantine. orders. Quarantine. Don't get out of your house. Don't go by anybody. Orders. Um, has your state not issued that yet? I don't think many states ha ha are not uh, under those quarantine orders but i think a few uh, like aren't um yeah man i don't know what what, what are you focusing on camera why is it maybe it's because of the live feed i don't know yeah i don't know it's kind of sorry guys for out. the blurriness uh so I weird to do this um, so anyways stadium clip cards look awesome by the way if you have never opened them before very fun there's a Yelich Black. That's a cool card. That's a cool card, yeah. So people are chatting in here. Um, I'm from Oregon. The family's doing well. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's what um, we've been doing too. We've been organizing stuff all the time. Dwight Smith Jr. Auto. Stadium. Yeah, Stadium Club cards are one of our favorites, actually. Yeah, we did get them from Wildwood, didn't we? The stadium club. Yeah, we did. Yep, they were ten bucks a blaster on their blowout special. So hard to beat. Uh, in fact, what I want to do is try to see. I think we may have started a set of this. So we'll see if we can't complete our set. 
Uh, Chris Bryant. This is kind of cool. Beam team. Yeah, the beam team. And Carly Strand. Hey, we team. just we just redeemed. Here we here we go. I just redeemed this today. So, if you didn't see our video where we showed this, that we pulled this out of Heritage, I don't know what is up with this camera. There we go. Um, we pulled this. Uh, when was this? A couple a month or so ago, and we just yeah. redeemed it. So it's a dual autograph. So pretty sweet. Can you really get uh, 18 archives blasters off of Amazon for 20 bucks still? It's a good deal. That is not bad because that stuff has everybody in it. Soto stuff is in that. Yeah, so. go. Yeah, go buy some archives. Might have to check that out. Yeah. I don't know what the heck is happening tonight. I think Luke broke the camera. I did. I broke everything, I guess. Like, normally this thing focuses Maybe just Maybe it doesn't like our new lighting system or something. I don't know. Now you put the light on it, it works fine. Mookie bets. I like that Mookie card. Uh, Matt Harvey. Matt Sui. Is that Arius? Padres. There's a nice Walker Bueller red. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. And a Dansby. I wasn't really looking at chat too much there. Uh, Ruff Warner had a couple of blasters two days ago. Huh, that's not bad. Yeah, we already did the giveaway. Castillo. There's a lot of these landscape cards in Stadium Club. Zimmerman, Kluber, Cheater, I mean Jose Altuve, and Steven Duggar. Wait, who'd you call a cheater? Jose oh. Altuve. Oops. Uncle Rico, uh, who won the giveaway? It was Texans49, I believe was the name. And he's getting Gatorade thrown at him? It looks like. Yeah, and bubblegum, too, I think. Paul DeYoung and a Brooks Robinson orange. Those aren't numbered, and he, that's a cool one. I like Those that one with uh, Miggy and the tiger in the background. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Cedric Mullins auto. Yeah, it, definitely. Those are very common in this stuff. Um, or his auto. He's all over last year's. Uh, Josh James. Hey, thanks, Fulton. That would be very nice of you. We would definitely appreciate that. One day I want to pull one of these autographed. They're just, like perfectly set up. Um, we do have a few Aquino cards, but not too many. No autos or anything. Um. Trev Shaw, Bauer. And Garrett Cole, Tanaka, Red Foil, and Peraza. So nothing really too crazy in that blaster. No, nothing too special out of that. So we didn't buy it for anything other than to do some fun rips like this and just to have some product to open. If Tops is really going to shut down their production for a while, then we're all going to be itching for stuff to, to open if you like to open packs. That means that basketball is just going to be even harder to find. Yeah, basketball is like impossible to find. I know some people are finding it here and there. I've seen more and more people all of a sudden opening up Optic um, by them, so that's pretty cool. If, but we, we went into our local Meyer. I did the other day because we are under restrictions in our state. And I went by myself, tried to take precautions, went to go check the cards as I was stocking up on food. It was completely wiped out. Nobody has been restocking cards. It's not that critical at this time. So it's going to be hard to find stuff, I think, in the next mm, probably month or so. It's going to be very difficult, yeah. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting. For sure. Who won? Uh, Texans, Texans 49. 49. Texans 49 Texan won. 49. Or Texan 49. Not sure if we got the name right. It's either... It's gone now. It was Texans 49. It'd be on your computer. Oh, yeah, that's probably <laughs> that's Yeah, right. I know. If top slows down or stops, yeah. Um, it'd be interesting. 
That's cool. Burrow parallel. Um, apparently, yes. Um, saw something from a pretty reputable source. Yeah, very so, reputable source from a, a, a guy dealer. Guy on Instagram yep. DM'd us a screenshot of a dealer. Dealer um, that, that said that, that. He got a letter from Top stating that. So, A guy that we bought a lot from before, so we definitely trust him. Um, so we don't want to go spreading around rumors, but at the same time, it looks pretty reliable. It, it may or may not be true, but it looks like it probably is, and it makes perfect sense. I mean, everything's shutting down uh, to keep workers and employees safe. I mean, we're, we're thankful that we still get deliveries because um, you hear places where, you know, uh, UPS, FedEx, uh, and postal workers are getting sick, not being able to deliver packages. So, I mean, everything is kind of in jeopardy. You can't take anything for granted right now. Yeah, Michigan school is over. Yeah, we're done, so... Yeah, basically the end of the world. Um, hopefully not, but um, it, <laughs> a definite pause. Definite pause. Um, T. Proctor, we actually, this was just recently, the other day, we knew, well, we thought we had it, um, but we actually found an Acuna bat down, a second one, in our collection. So yeah, we buried, found, so. yeah, so we found some incredible stuff the last few days. We've been going through all of our boxes. We open up. A lot of product, as you can see on our channel, and the problem is, is we open it up. Luke has homework to do. I have stuff to do. It gets set aside, and it just gets placed in boxes. Sometimes organized, sometimes not really organized. And then we just went through now this last week, and we still have more. I don't know. We still have five, six, seven boxes of cards to go through yet, at least, and and organized. So we got a huge stack of top well, we loader stuff. We have like I think I went through. It took me like an hour and a half and I top loaded. I went through over 600 top loaders, just top loading rookie cards of like top rookies from 18 and 19. Um, and some older too, like found some Chris Bryant, Carlos Correa stuff. Um, and some Bowman's first, like found a whole bunch of Luis Robert first, um, which is cool. UP, that's cool. Yeah, school, yeah, tech, so Jared, you're right. So school technically isn't over. Um, for my district, it's over because where I live, not everybody has uh, internet and stuff, and so they can't do um, like online learning, and they're not going to make us do like packet pickup or anything, and so we're just going to be done as of right now. Um, where we ended like our, we have like what they call marking periods, which is essentially like um, half a semester each long, and so our final grades were just whatever we got for marking period three. So. Hey, a lot of Michigan guys in here. Uh, North Carolina is all online. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. See, I take a college class too. I take um, with the we have like a community college a little ways away, and our school offers like dual enrollment classes. So I take a few college classes here and there for free. Um, and so I'm taking one of those, and that is still online. But main PC is a whole bunch of different Red Sox. Probably like Devers or Benintendi or Pedroia. One of Pedroia, those we got a lot of Pedroia cards. Um, yeah, so oh, Benintendi, lot Devers. We have different. We don't have one. You know, like Packer cards '87. He has like you know, obviously Jordy. Yeah. Uh, we we're a little more diverse than that. We collect kind of a wide variety of stuff. Did you guys hear about um, the cool story in sports today? Since there's no sports going on, the uh, Patriots uh, owner Robert Kraft. Uh, allowed his plane to be used to transport goods from China back to the U.S. Uh, to deliver medical supplies. That was a pretty cool story. Uh, he took his plane. I think it cost him like a million dollars to do this. He went uh, to, uh, this is the team plane, by the way, of the, the Patriots. He uh, had to get it uh, retrofitted for international travel, so he flew from Boston, or the plane did, I should say, from Boston to Anchorage, Alaska, got the plane retrofitted, uh, the jet retrofitted to go to China so it could uh, be used for international travel. Uh, also loaded the plane up with tons of supplies uh, to in case they needed to repair the plane. So all these supplies were uh, like spare tires and parts that they needed in case when they got to China and the plane broke down, they couldn't fix the plane in China. They would have to supply their own parts. Anyways, they did all that, got to China. They had three hours 
uh, supposedly to get all the medical supplies in, and it was a million uh, of the mask, I believe. It's like 1.2 million N95. Yeah, masks, the N95 the mask. Time, so. uh, then they spent the th full three hours loading up the plane with the mask, flew back home to Boston, and there we go. We have part of the sports community helping out in this uh you know, difficult times. So that's pretty cool. I like to hear stories like that. And, you know, I know the NBA players have been giving money away to, to help people in need too. So that's pretty it's pretty cool. cool. I, I know Kevin, Lo I think Kevin Love started um, putting money for stadium workers, which I thought was cool out of, you know, a whole bunch of players hopped on too. Um, I know Zion did a whole bunch of other players did um, put money into help the stadium workers who are all out of jobs, which I think is really cool. Um, which is cool. One thing I did find was interesting is like they said, I don't know if NBA has done anything now for those people, but I saw a couple people saying like, well, how come the NBA players have to do it and not the actual NBA themselves? But still, it's kind of cool that the players decide to do that. For yeah. Well, there's, time. there's two, right. They, a lot of these leagues are set up where there's the owners and the players. And so yeah. they both have their own, you know, organizations. Uh, they're one big organization, but they have these two groups. So, that's part of how it works. So, Well, we're going to sign off here in just a, a little bit because last time our phone died on us and we just left without saying goodbye. So we definitely don't want to do that. Uh, we greatly appreciate everybody here um, and everybody that tuned in. I think we had over 200 people on the feed, didn't we? We did at one point, yes. So that's, that's awesome. So thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. We'll try to do more of these, you know, probably once a week at least during this time because it's, you know, pretty difficult. You get locked up inside. It's fun to talk to you all. And uh, we can talk about other things than being locked up in our houses and looking at cards. Hey, Capital What's up, P. Capital P. How's it going? How's it going? Yeah, and once again, tomorrow we will be doing our uh, announcement. Look for a video sometime tomorrow about the Rookie Chase Packs, the Edition 3, just baseball this time. Um, so there will be a video about that tomorrow. All right, yeah, hey, sports kid, hopefully you do well in your break. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching, for tuning in. Um, it's been uh, a lot of fun, and hanging out with you guys and doing the giveaway. We hope to hear from the winner. Um, so uh, thanks to everybody who put in their top 10 list. We greatly appreciate it. And for everybody who did videos, uh, thanks so much. Uh, not huge. No, we're not really huge fans of any basketball team in particular. Um, so. All right. Well, we're going to sign off, guys. Have a great night. Thanks for watching again. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you in the future here as we do more breaks. So stay tuned for those. And thanks again. Good night. God bless and stay safe. We'll see you soon, guys.